Right? The Gemara says each righteous Jew is going to receive 310 spiritual worlds full of the greatest pleasure a person can think of. Not one heaven, 310. Sheneemar l'anchi le'oava yesh. Yesh, shin, it's 300. Yud, it's 10. 310 worlds. The Zohar says that there is one word, one world that nobody can enter there. Even the most righteous Jews ever lived, they can enter there. This is specific world to Jews who made other Jews religious. Only they go to this place and it's the highest of all highest. So if a person did it with his mouth, with his teaching, with his money, with his donations, with his physical work, running, hanging flyers, sending emails, hosting lectures, sponsoring food, all kinds of things that because of that people came and listened to the word of God and became more religious. And in my opinion the most productive and the cheapest way to do it in our generation is these CDs. 15 lectures on one dollar, one CD, 15 lectures, it's enough. Even an elephant or a monkey would listen to this lecture has to be religious, cannot be. Cannot be a person has to be that, that dumb to listen to so many proofs and stay what he is. So I always say, everyone change for sure. The question is how much they're going to change. Some will only put feeling. Some will start eating kosher. One guy would leave his, uh, his uh, Christine, was about to get married, and he dropped the plan. One guy will move his kids, kids from Republic to Yeshiva. One becomes Shomer Shabbos. Some will go to Yeshiva and become rabbis one day. Depend on the level of the people, the soul. So anything they do, does, it's already better than what they've been before. It's yours, everything they do. Plus Hashem has his own ways. If they heard the lectures, they didn't change that much. A month from now, psh, big smack. Accident, problem, a car hit him, three weeks in a hospital, broken legs. There's a lot of things. IRS is calling him. They're calling him to Vietnam, to Zimbabwe, to Iraq, to fight. There's a lot of tragedies in the life of a person, unexpected problems. So the person, the nature of the people, I told you that they wake up when, they, when the smack begins. When they, as, long, as long as there's no smack, they're not going to make steps forward. Once somebody is pushing, oh, okay, okay, I'm, I got the point. So Hashem will continue the follow-up, don't worry. This is like planting seeds in the mind of a person. Proving the Torah is divine, for sure. Proving Hashem runs the world, for sure. Proving reward and punishment, for sure. Proving life after life, for sure. Proving Shabbat is a covenant, for sure. Proving that it pays to be righteous, for sure. What else do you want? He got all the answers to any question he may have. He doesn't want to change? Let's say he did not change even nothing. Nothing whatsoever. He heard everything, now he's angry at Hashem. You know what? Okay, I admit you there. I admit it's the Torah of Hashem, and I don't want to do it. Why? I don't like this God. It's too strict. Punishments, this. I don't want this. I'll go completely against Hashem. I don't care. Whatever happened, happened. You have some fools like this. What do you care? You get his share to the world to come, comes to you. No matter how you look at that. He doesn't want, no problem, don't do anything. It's a problem, unfortunate, but if you don't want, no problem. Your share comes to me and to my partners, to everyone who helps. It's a group of people. One person cannot do the work. All the people who participate in the mitzvah, they get the share of the people who heard the truth and don't want to change. Because where is this share going to go to? It has to go to someone. And this is what Chazal say. It goes to the person who put efforts to make them. So. 310 worlds. Rabbi Meir said, Everything in life is measure for measure. You're generous, Hashem is generous with you. You're merciful, He's merciful with you. You speak against people, Hashem make people speak against you. You respect, people respect you. You disrespect, nobody respects you, even your wife and children. It's all measure for measure. 100%. So basically everything you cook, you ended up eating. So you might as well cook kosher and delicious food, no? You don't want to cook poison that you ended up, they force you to eat it. 